Welcome back to The Breakaway. Today we're going to go over how to do a Pace Partner ride in Zwift. Once you've got your Zwift app open, I want you to scroll down and on the left you will see Find a Pacer Group. Beneath that you've got all your options working from left to right, easiest to most difficult. So you can see here we've got a Pace Partner named Bernie. Uh, they're riding the Volcanoes Flat in Watopia and Bernie will be riding at a 1.4 watt per kilogram average with an average speed of 19 miles per hour. There are currently 118 people riding with Bernie. As I said, working from left to right, you'll see more and more difficult pace partners. We're moving from the D cat into the C category. Keep going, we see the B category. These are the, the three watt per kilogram riders. And we can continue all the way up into the most difficult. Uh, this is the most difficult pace partner is Constance, currently riding country to coastal in McCurry Islands. They're a Cat A pace partner. They're riding at 4.1 watts per kilogram and 25 miles per hour. Only three people riding with Constance right now. Go figure, that's pretty difficult to maintain. But for myself, I would like to do a 2.6 watts per kilogram ride. So I'm gonna come back to this Coco tile here, click on her pace partner ride. I can see there's 59 people riding right now. That's great, we'll have plenty of people to ride with. And click start ride. It's gonna load you in and give you 10 seconds just to get up to speed. You could, this is your moment to just start pedaling and get yourself ready because when this 10 seconds ends, you are on your own as far as the pedaling goes. You're no longer getting any assist. But I wanna point a couple things out. So Coco is this bluish ghost looking rider and also easy to spot because the pace partners have this icon above their head. In the top center here, you can see that I'm riding with the, it shows you that you're riding with the Coco Pace Partner. And then you've got this little bar that fills up. Right now I'm at uh, one. And that's your that's your multiplier for drops. As you ride with the Pace Partners, you'll get drop multipliers. It'll go one, 1 1.2, and work its way up eventually, as I fall off the back here. Eventually, you can get up to a 2.5, and I've seen a five multiplier before, not sure if that's still a thing, but the longer you hold on to the pace partner group, the larger your multiplier will be. So that's a good incentive for you to stick with the group. You do get drafting benefits from the pace partner as well as from the massive group that's surrounding them. So it's pretty easy to use. It's pretty easy to uh, keep a high average speed when you're riding with pace partners, big benefit. You still get power-ups, got my drafting boost here. And I just wanna go over a couple other important items from here. As I mentioned with the skill multiplier in the top, this blue bar currently at just a level one multiplier, you will lose your multiplier if you get too far away from the group. So I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna really soft pedal and show you what it looks like when you're about to lose your multiplier. Let the group pull away from me. I'm still technically in this group ride. I have not gotten dropped yet. But let's see, I'm in the process of getting dropped. You know the feeling. And as they pull away from me, it pops up with this warning right here. Catch up to C group Coco. And it's just warning you because once you get far enough off the back, as is happening to me for a long enough time, it will drop your multiplier and you are no longer in the pace partner ride. But fear not when it gives you that warning, that's just a opportunity for you to catch back up. So I'm gonna catch back up to Coco I can, I can see Coco on the map here. You can see a ton of riders around her. It's not as easy to catch up to the group working together when you're all by yourself, knocked off the back. But I've now been off the back long enough that 
I've been officially dropped from the Coco Pace Parker group. See, it no longer says see Coco on the left. It just came up with one of the sprint jerseys, but we'll give that a moment to go away. So no longer see Coco on the left and no more multiplier on the right. But this is good for us because we can catch back up and I'll show you that even from any ride in the free world, you can join into a pace partner group. While I'm pushing 400 watts to catch back up to this pace partner, I want to point out three things. The pace partner will up their pace incrementally when they're going uphill and they'll come off their pace equally incrementally when they're going downhill, which is awesome. That's just like real riders. You do not need to worry about your turning when you're with the pace partner. All of your turns will be made automatically based upon the pace partner's route. And the pace partner is always running on a continuous loop. So you can pop in or leave whenever, spend as much time as you want with them. You'll just keep going around and around on whichever loop they're set for. So now I'm back in and I can tell because I'm linked back up with C Coco and my multiplier is starting to build again. A little more effort than I was hoping to do, but that's what happens when you get dropped. You gotta work to catch back. Now, I'm gonna fast forward through this the rest of my ride and then we will take a look at how you end your ride with the pace partner. If you learned something new today, help the channel grow. Click the like and subscribe down below. Now that we're done with warp speed, let's talk about the three ways you can end your ride with the pace partner. You can turn left, right, or do a U-turn. You can go off the front or fall off the back so far that Zwift separates you from the pace partner. Both of these options leave you in a free ride and you can continue riding for as long as you'd like. Or you can end your ride. To end your ride, click in the bottom left menu, select end ride. That'll tally all your data up for you. When you're ready from there, hit OK. You can change the title if you'd like. You can change who sees it, which club you're sharing it to, and if you have any additional apps synced to your Zwift, they'll show in the bottom. Click Save. And that's it. You have completed a ride with the Pace Partner. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any additional questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will answer you.